Hello everyone. Okay, how do we solve this problem? We have 5x to the power of 1 over 2 equals 5x. This looks impossible, but it is not. Do you know that um, if you have a to the power of 1 over 2, it is the same thing as square root of a according to one of the laws of indices. So this means that we are looking for the square root of 5x on the left and is equal to 5x on the right. By the way, is this possible? Let's keep going. How do we remove this square root? Square root of 5x. To remove it, or we'll square it. That means we are going to square the other side too. And you must put this in bracket before you can square it. If you do not do that, the square here will be for x alone. Now, this is taking this out. So we have 5x. Then on the other side, 5 squared is 25. Then x to the power of 2 will appear. Now, let's write the one with the highest power first, which is this. 25x to the power of 2 equals 5x. If you look at this equation, we can even reduce the equation to a simpler form. We can divide this by 5. Divide this by 5. 5 will go there. We have 5. So we have 5x squared. Then on the other hand, 5 will go here. We have 1x. So this is the point where we bring everything to the left. 5x squared minus x will now be 0. Guess what I will do from here? Factorize. Because x is common to the two terms. We we'll now have 5. 1 x is still there. Then minus 1. If you open this, you're going to have this back. Then it quits to 0. How many terms are we multiplying to get 0? We are multiplying two terms here. This and this. So if you are multiplying two terms to get 0, it means that either of them must be equal to 0. And even if the terms are more than 2, as long as you multiply all of them to get 0, one of them must be equal to 0. So here now we'll say that our x is 0 or 5x minus 1 is 0. x is 0 or 5x is 1. Collecting like terms. So our x remains 0 here. Then on this side, x will now be 1 over 5. Therefore, x is equal to 0 or 1 over 5. But then what is the equation again? The equation is um, 5x to the power of 1 over 2 equals 5x. Now let's verify. If we put 0 here, we have 0 to the power of 1 over 2. And square root of 0 is 0. If you put x to be 0 here, 5 times 0 is still 0. So 0 is equal to 0. That means that um, x equals 0 satisfies. Now let's try x equals 1 over 5. 5 in place of x, I'll put 1 over 5. Now the whole of this will be raised to the power of 1 over 2. And now on the other side, we have 5 into x is now 1 over 5. To continue from here, this will go here. We have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we're having 1 to the power of 1 over 2. Then on the other side, we have 5 here. We have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And from here, this is the same as the square root of 1. And that is equal to 1. So, both of them, okay, x equals 0, x equals 0, or 1 over 5. Both of them here satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching, and if you have not subscribed, another gentle reminder. Subscribe and get more of my videos.